This 2007 Porsche Cayenne has the 4.8 litre V8 engine and being a 2007 model it is an update. The update Porsche Cayenne came with the much bigger 4.8 litre V8 which produced considerably more power. This particular car has only done 90,000 kilometres since it was new and it has an excellent service history. It's got two remote keys and as you can see it's black with black leather interior. It has factory Porsche alloy wheels which are 19 inches which is great because a lot of people put 20 and 22 inch wheels on it which may look good but it puts a huge amount of unnecessary strain on the suspension system of this car and it does have adjustable air suspension these Porsche Cayennes are incredibly reliable and if you go online you'll see them with over 400,000 kilometres. It's a proper four-wheel drive. It has a transfer case with low range. At the click of a button, you can literally go from high range to low range. You've also got a, a centre differential and a rear diff lock. The good thing about having the optional air suspension is you've got your comfort, normal and sport settings. So in comfort mode, it soaks up all the bumps nicely. You've also, at the click of a switch, can put the suspension up and down if you really did want to take it off-road. Or it has a low setting for loading in and out of the car. It's been serviced at Porsche and a Porsche specialist in Rose Bay who's a very good mechanic and a very fussy one which is a, certainly a good thing when buying a Porsche Cayenne. They are incredibly reliable as I said. This car's also got the optional rear blind in the back which is great and it's got an electric tailgate. This car is in particularly good condition. It's a Cayenne S. The transmission's also very reliable. I believe it's got the six-speed ZF gearbox, which is used in most European cars. If you're looking at SUVs in general and you've looked at Discoveries, Mercedes, ML, Cayenne, you're, you're not really sure which way to go. Maybe uh, talk to someone who's owned a Porsche Cayenne and ask them what they think. Because I know that the people I've spoken to have owned Cayennes. I've had a great experience. And someone I know recently has, has traded in their Cayenne on a brand new one, which most people do. For some reason over the years... people have looked at the Porsche badge and thought expensive maintenance problems but Porsches make some of the most reliable cars on the on the planet I mean look at the Porsche 911 and like any car if it's looked after properly it's got a long life ahead of it especially with 90,000 kilometers I've driven Porsche Cayennes with between two and three hundred thousand kilometers We'll have a quick look at this logbook because that is one one thing you must look at when buying any second-hand European car great right at the top it's got two keys right, so it's had the long life guarantee condition report brake fluid in fact I think that's it, it's at 78,000 kilometers it had all new brakes so here we go so the, I'll just go through the servicing quickly so we've got 78 67, 60, 54, 49, so I can't see the mileage there, high 30s, uh, 26, 
27. Yeah, so look, it's, it's got a very good history. You can see all the stamps right through, which is fantastic. Yeah, you can see here front and rear brakes at the last service. That's the thing I find with these Porsche Cayennes. It's really just normal maintenance. They don't have catastrophic issues. It's really just tyres, brakes, fluids, you know, engine oil, gearbox fluids, mounts, engine mounts, gearbox mounts, all the normal rubber components which need to be done on any car, even a Toyota Hilux or a you know, Land Cruiser. The 4.8 litre V8, as I said, does have plenty of power. However, for a car of this size and, and a V8, it's pretty, it's surprisingly pretty good on fuel. I guess in some cases the misconception is that a diesel is cheaper to run purely based on the fact that it uses less diesel per 100 kilometres than a petrol. But you've got to look at the, the full picture. Diesels have particulate filters, turbos. And you need to get them out on the open road on a regular basis, otherwise you can clog up these filters. They've also got glow plugs which need to be changed you know, probably at about 100,000 kilometres. There's a lot of hidden costs to diesels. And again, you know, ask if you've got a European mechanic, ask them. Ask them what they think of a V8 petrol like this versus a diesel. I'm not saying that diesels aren't good. Diesels are fantastic, especially if you're doing a lot of freeway driving or if you've got a property or a farm and you get a discount on diesel fuel. But for driving around town like this car has, I think petrol's definitely the way to go. But this is a very impressive car. It's definitely one of the best KNs we've seen in a long time. And I'd welcome the opportunity to answer any questions you might have. We are the Old Timer Centre. We're located in Marrickville, only 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. We have in-house finance and my contacts were on 02 9569 9999.